conversion function is the number of actions taken for an online property divided by the number of visits to that property. Here is where we find the solid blue line in our websites. It runs through our sites and our landing pages. It slices our prospects' mobile phones, their tablets, and their computers. We charter the digital transportation that will bring people in under the line. These confounding and complex people we call visitors. This is not an inexpensive undertaking. We cajole Google with its menagerie of penguins, pandas, and hummingbirds. We cast our banners and our ads across the internet, chasing prospects as they surf. We create the content, we share on social media, and we send the emails that bring them to us. We pay their fares, promising them a trip to a place meant for them, our place. They arrive below the blue line looking for that solution, that thing that will make them feel better, that product to adorn themselves, that moment of entertainment when they can just let go. The blue line stands as a ceiling to our visitors and they imagine how things might be different up there above the line. They are always tempted by the exit or the back button, the next search. It is this blue line that our visitors struggle with. Some will climb, others will accept the help of friends and strangers. It is our duty to help our visitors rise above this line. We choose the tools that will elevate them. Will we give them just enough rope to hang themselves? Will we provide the clear steps to boost their efforts? Will we ask them to make a leap of faith and trust in their agility to spring safely above our blue line? Will we try to make it effortless using the machinery of our websites to transport them above the line? And what will drive them to take that leap, to step on, to push the up button? The vision we have for our blue line is one in which many make the journey. We see them coming with their money in hand, ready to spend, ready to engage. We believe they come with ample intuition and a nourishing supply of common sense based on the way we see our business, ourselves, and our world. As it turns out, what we call common sense is a poor guide to helping our visitors. These frustrating people aren't like us. They aren't even like the people we know. They come with their own rules, with their own ideas of beauty and their own sense of how things should work. They are not here to be manipulated. They are here to be understood. When they are not understood, they seem mesmerized by the exit, transfixed and hypnotized. We paid to bring them here, and they and their flagrant individuality choose not to stay. In our hubris, we create the quicksand that will trap them. Did our navigation confuse them? Do our words lack clarity? Did we call them to act in a way they like to act? We are opaque to them, and this is scary. Our visitors fear us like a bad dream on Halloween. Are we lurking behind our website, ready to pounce, to steal from them, or worse, to make them feel stupid and incompetent? It is the unknown that allows our visitors' imaginations to run to places we did not expect them to go. How are we dealing with this complexity? For it is a complex problem. How high will we set our line? What distance must these lost souls cover to find their solution? What have we provided them? Why should they put their fears aside? And how will we transport them above the line? For it is their journey from below the blue line that tells us who they are and who we should be for them. This is how we grow our business. This is how we start so many of our relationships. This is how we distance ourselves from the competition. And this is our challenge, to get our prospects above the blue line.